Hello and welcome to episode 33 of my Working with Evernote series. In this episode I want to show you how you can use or take advantage of the presentation mode in Evernote uh, for your small group meetings or with your co-workers or planning meetings and so on and so forth. What, but first of all I should point out now the presentation mode in Evernote is not a full-blown presentation tool. Yes it has a few features but if you're going to do like a keynote presentation or a very important presentation I still strongly recommend that you use your current software whether that is keynote or PowerPoint. However the presentation mode in Evernote is really useful for those uh, small group meetings that you may have with your co-workers, your team members or people that you're uh, discussing an idea or, or, or anything like that. It's not what I would describe as something I would present to a client as a full-blown presentation but it does have its uses and quite often when I'm visiting clients I see so many people trying to discuss a, a, a um, Excel file uh, using a a computer and a projector and it just doesn't work because the text is often too small and there's just way too much data. Evernote has a really cool trick for this and you can take screenshots and you can add them into Evernote and then you can present it. So this is a really cool trick. Now there's several ways to access the presentation. You can go into note and click on present and it's going to go into your, your presentation. So the title yeah, yeah, I've got that. The, the title of your presentation is here. Now, this says The Art of Presenting. Uh, this is just a, a copy of a PDF file that I have uh, that I use for, pre um, for pre my slides, a slide deck, show my slide deck. So it has a beautifully titled uh, there, The Art of Presenting. Uh, by the way, this is a, as you move your mouse, you can get this lovely squiggly line. Uh, you can change that uh, in the settings. You've got light, uh, you can change the text size, you can change so many things here. So you've got font scaling, you've got toggle night mode, and you've got different colors that you can use the pointer. So at the moment I'm using blue, that's fine. So as you go through, now I can actually go through and I can, we can go even higher. So there we go, we've gone into it even bigger. By double clicking the file, you can actually get the slides bigger. So this is a copy of some slide deck that I have as a presentation. As I say, it's a PDF file. But I can go through it and I can just click on the space bar to move things along. Uh, this could just be a note. It doesn't have to be, um, or you can just use the, the mouse. So if you're actually in this small group meeting, you can discuss things and you can point like this. Uh, perfection is, is reached not when there is nothing left to add but when there is nothing left to take away. Um, so as you can see from here um, I can run through my slide deck with my co-workers uh, and I can explain what I'm doing here and why um, you know a particular slide is very important. There are some really really good things in here and it, as I say if you were with your co-workers this is a really really good way of just presenting data uh, to them or to discuss things so uh, I do particularly like the fact that I can use my <laughs> move things around here um, and things around like this and I can just point things out um, to my clients or to my co-workers and I can actually get together a really really nice discussion document so I just wanted to show you that because it's a, it's a it's actually a uh, feature that is I, I seem to think that people tend to forget about it but for those small group as I say for small group meetings and discussing with your co-workers this is a really really good tool and of course this works with almost any it works with any note that is in your to doist um, sorry your Evernote file so um, for the, so as I say, it's just a really, really neat way of being able to discuss with your coworkers or 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 anything to, to present the mode. So there you go. If there, if you have any questions about this or you would like me to add any other topics to my Evernote series, please leave a comment in the section in the comment section below. But apart from that, I just wish you all a very, very productive week.